After five years of research, Tan Dun has returned with a 13-movement microfilm symphony to capture the musical life and spirit of Nu Shu, a secret code language between women in Hunan province. Actually, the film I shoot myself really wants to have a dialogue with different kinds of people and different generations of people. So orchestra is the voice of the future. But who is going to be in between? And I thought harp, because harp to me is the most feminine instrument and also the most beautiful instrument. So harp normally is always been treated as a decorational instrument, colorful instrument, but never been treated as a storytelling instrument. What I want to do, what I want to make harp very, very dramatic is because, like a ballad, we want to harp to link the ancient and the future, tell the story between the ancient and the future. Tan says that he's inspired by what he sees in the new shu rhythm, considering it to be the most primitive form of beauty. So are very interesting music scales, but also rhythm is very interesting. For example, dun da, dun da, ding ding dun. This is very much like a heartbeat, and it reminds me very very primitive rhythms uh, before any kind of language uh, were invented actually this is boom boom when primitive uh, human being haunting and uh, falling in love they always have this boom 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 it's a heartbeat like in his previous work tan is adding an extra touch to his orchestra this time with two musicians tapping water when you are in the nature, the river is so beautiful, the tree is so beautiful, the mountain is so beautiful. Why make music need a string, the instrument? That poetry is striking me so deeply. And specifically in modern Chinese, we are constructing everything so fast, but meanwhile we're, we're destroying for ourselves. When talking about the challenges in composing the piece, the master laughs and says that the obvious obstacle is his gender. The, the biggest res resistance is from myself, because I'm a man, and how to get into deeply that beautiful world, and it's a, secret, it's a big task. So when they're finished, then we find some of those old women already passed away, and it become only eight left. Then suddenly I feel Oh my God, I, I'm lucky because I, I, I hear the last words of those people singing for themselves. And it's very private, actually. As a UNESCO Goodwill Ambassador, Tan hopes to preserve China's intangible cultural heritage starting from within. I want to find where is Chinese belief. So next piece for me will be Dunhuang. I want to go to the mountain curves, inside of the curves. I want to meet them, those people waiting there for thousands of years. And the Dunhuang is the piece looking back, saving back, finding back our belief.